Hey, it's Tammy Jersey Roberts, Certified Functional Nutrition Counselor. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about three ways to end dieting forever. And I know that there's so many people that they just cringe at the word diet. And really all that means is what we eat. And it doesn't have to be a negative word, but that's not really what this is about. I want to, I wanted to make this presentation for people who have been more than 25 pounds overweight for longer than 10 years. Um, that has definitely been my case. I've probably been overweight um, by more than 100 pounds for 30 to 40 years. So anyway, if you've been overweight for longer than 10 years by more than 25 pounds, then this presentation is for you. I want to talk about three ways that you can end dieting for life. So let me share my screen and we'll just get right into this. Okay, I think this is <laughs> always have an issue when I'm going to switching screens here. But I think this is it. Let's see what happens. I hit the wrong one. Okay, I believe that we're on the right page here. Anyway, hopefully you can still see me. So three ways to end dieting for life. Again, I'm Tammy Jersey Roberts. The name of my company is Your Vitality Network. I'm a certified functional nutrition counselor. And I was more than 100 pounds overweight for more than 30 years of my life. So that's about half my life. And of course, um, you know, I tried all the popular diets. Of course, everyone does. But you know, I found that they all have the same thing in common. They all work for a little while. You lose a little bit of weight. At least that was my scenario, but it didn't last. And I felt like I was, I don't know, like deprived or something like, like that. But the catch is that all of these plans they kept you coming back. They kept you in the loop. They kept you looking for the next thing. And over and over and over and over again, it's so frustrating. And if you're in this loop, I know exactly what you're feeling. So that's just one reason I put this presentation together. So what can you can expect today? Um, you know, I help women who are over 40 lose weight for the last time. Um, when you've been overweight for more than 10 years and you have more than 25 pounds to lose, the old adage of eat less and exercise more, it just doesn't work. I mean, just plain and simple, it does not work. No matter how many times people wanna tell you that, it doesn't work. <laughs> so I want to talk about today, you know, how to lose that, lose stubborn belly fat, lose the cravings, lose the sluggish energy blahs. And so at the end of this talk, I'm going to introduce you to one of my new programs that will support your effort and help you take action. Plus, um, you know, I'll give you a special offer on it. So first, the reasons we diet and why they fail. So why do we go on what we call a diet? Because we want to lose weight. We want to improve our moods, higher energy levels, decreased risk of diabetes, lower blood glucose levels, um, decreased heart disease risk lower blood pressure, and what else? There's a lot of reasons. You know, sometimes you just want to look better, you want to feel, feel better in your clothes. Um, 
you know, once we get past a certain age, we don't really care that much about how we look in our bathing suits and all that, like we did when we were maybe younger, but some of us did. But anyway, um, getting trying to get kind of getting sidetracked, but these are the main reasons that I hear of why people want to go on quote unquote diet. So why does dieting fail? You know, you're continually focusing on counting calories or another way to look at that would be eating less and exercising more, which I just got finished saying does not work. And sometimes you don't have a plan. You just wing it. And, you know, every single day you're doing something else because you don't have a plan and you don't know exactly what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Everyone's different. Everyone's unique. And maybe you fell into the low fat diet craze that came out in the 70s and 80s where fat was replaced in food with sugars and it made everyone even fatter um, that fell into that craze. So you definitely need to have good quality fats in your eating plan. And sometimes it's such a social pressure, like your friends are going out for pizza and donuts and you're at the office and people bring in all a bunch of snacks and sugary stuff to eat and so it's just the social pressure that you think oh one more donut's not going to hurt me which you're right one more donut is not going to hurt you but it just exacerbates the cycle and keeps it per it keeps it going so what are some of the excuses that i hear and the excuses that i made also like, I don't have time to eat healthy. I am big boned. I'm large framed. It runs in my family. It's my hormones. Dieting just doesn't work for me. It's been a week and I don't see any results. I mean, the excuses go on and on. I've made hundreds of them, believe me. And they're really just an excuse. So let's just get right into the gist of this. Three simple ways to end dieting for life. If you do these three things, your life is just going to be a lot simpler and you won't feel like you're dieting and the weight's going to start coming off too. So the very first thing that you can do is know your sugars. Sugar comes in almost 75 different names that manufacturers have for sugar. So know your sugar. Almost everything on a label that ends in O-S-E is a sugar. It's a form of sugar. Fructose, glucose, lactose, maldextrin, Dextrose, they're all types of sugar masquerading under scientific names. And if you go on my Facebook group, Functional Medicine Blood Sugar Masters, there's several different um, charts in there on all the different names of sugar that we've collected. So read the grocery labels so that you know what you're eating. Um, and if you don't know what something is, then just skip it. Just don't eat it. Number two, cut down on processed and packaged foods, salad dressings, spaghetti sauces, soups, even pizza crust. They all contain sugar. And if you make your own soup, it's unlikely that you're going to be adding a cup of sugar to it. You know, you're just not going to do this, but it's exactly what a lot of manufacturers of soup do. They put sugar in it. So try to purchase your groceries with the least amount of packaging as possible. You want whole foods, fresh foods. I mean, even if 
it's frozen, it's fine as long as it's only broccoli in the package. It's not, you know, if you want to purchase frozen berries, frozen vegetables, those are all probably fine. Much better than lasagna or something like that. But anyway, you can get those and you can store them at home because I know a lot of people, they don't have time to go to the store every single week or they don't want their things to go bad. So just get the frozen if that's the next best thing to fresh. Number three, indulge your sweet tooth naturally. So fruits, honey, maple syrup, molasses, these are all natural sugars. Now these foods, they're not like health superstars. They're not superfoods, but they're better than the processed refined white sugar. So it's a, just a better option when the sweet tooth strikes. And if you're craving some sugary action, then try something with one of these in it versus just the plain refined sugar, because that sugar will actually deplete your nutrients, deplete the minerals. It actually pulls the nutrients right out of your organs and your bones. It's quite incredible, but I don't want to get sidetracked on that. So an apple, just a plain old apple, and you can even use peanut butter dip or almond butter dip, you know, will give you a sweet burst of flavor along with, you know, some beneficial vitamins and minerals and fiber. So you're just eating something healthier that's better for you. So just a quick overview of what we talked about. Um, you know, dieting can be very hard and very stressful, especially when you're not seeing any results. So if you're not seeing any results that you can push towards not fully committing to your goals, and that's really the main thing. So, you know, when you're not seeing results, it makes it really hard to stay on track with your goals. So knowing how you can change these habits or your mindset will really help you succeed. And you will never have to diet again once you change these simple things. Just changing the way that you're looking at it, changing your mindset. So I wanted to invite you to come in for a 14 day spring cleanse and detox. More information is at tammyroberts.com forward slash spring detox. It's the complete 14 day spring detox cleanse and detox. And this is a really fun done with you group. And it, I created this. If you are someone who has more than 25 pounds to lose and that you've been carrying this extra weight for more than 10 years, this is a two-week jumpstart program. All the recipes, shopping lists, menus, everything is there, all created to be delicious and just help you get a quick start, um, quick two-week jumpstart to get you on the road to losing weight, to get you off of the sugar. Um, you know, we'll be getting that liver cleansed and optimized because I know you have heard me talk about this before, but one of the things that's going on with this fat and if we've been holding fat for a long time, it's very likely that we have toxins stored in our fat. I mean, toxins store in fat. That's what they do. So our body is protecting us. And there's a classification of toxins called obesogens. These are the chemicals that create new fat cells. And then they store those toxins in them. And they're very difficult to release unless you do certain things. And it's really not all about the diet. So that's why we're including things in this two-week program 
then I'll go into more specifically on how to release these obesogen fat cells and how to release them and eliminate them because you don't want them recirculating in your bloodstream. You want to just release them and eliminate them. And so that's part of getting your liver cleansed and optimized. Back to that sentence that I was talking about. <laughs> so losing weight, it doesn't mean starvation and deprivation and feeling bad. You're actually going to start feeling amazing. All the recipes are delicious. They're created by professional chefs. And sure, you can figure this out on your own, but why? It's already done for you. And our community is so encouraging and we support each other. And this kind of support is just priceless. So if you want to find out more about that, um, the complete 14-day spring cleanse and detox, it's all online at TammyRoberts.com forward slash spring detox. And there's an early bird special if you get going before the end of March. And I've also, not to distract you, but I've also created a handout that goes along with this presentation that I'll put the link in the video, in the comments below this video. Thank you so much. Let me get off of share screen here somehow. I think I did that right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm super excited about this new spring detox coming up. Um, complete 14 days. If you're someone who's been holding more than 25 pounds overweight for more than 10 years, this, this uh, program is for you. It's definitely for you. So if you have any questions or comments or whatever, just let me know. I'll see you in the Facebook group. Thank you so much.